Hello, hello. Uh, we have an impromptu episode here. Uh, <laughs> talk about talking something in existence, huh? Uh, Mutant has been offered a contract by CWA. Now, on what this episode is, is we're just going to go through my thoughts, and we'll work it out. Um, so they are going to offer him four years, 13000 per month. And we are making about, honestly, 70 plus a month. So we have money to do it. Um, and sign-on bonuses don't really... So what I've noticed in my experience playing this, the contract type, count, mount, length, merchandise cut, and like uh, any sort of event bonus are what workers care about. Uh, the intended role, creative control, hiring, veto, veto, and wage matching, I try to stay away from. Um, but the signing bonus isn't something I really not noticed and care about. So, four years, 13000 I think I am committed to the mutant character right now. And we're getting behind them pretty strongly. My only concern with getting in a bidding war is a Larry Vesey interruption. So let's see if we can do four years. And honestly, let's do four years. I'm sorry, I'm going to have mute for a sec. I got to sneeze. So let's see if he'll accept that. So we're not going to be able to do bonuses with our lovely owner. Um, and it's one of the offers he'd seriously consider. Let's go to 16000 per month. I think that's fair. And let's bump it to 16.5. I really don't want to lose him. I'm even ha like, I wish if I gave the bonus here, he'd be able to do it. Now watch the 1600. We'll do 10,000. One, two, three. Signing bonus. <laughs> oh my god. God, this is what's going to be hard about medium. Um, Larry Vassie's going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, that said, let's see here. I think some downside, obviously. I don't think you even have to offer it. Yeah, no. Alright, so intended role. My intention to use you. Let's see here what the intention to use is. Normally intended role. Ba ba ba. Uh, okay. Is which promise to use each different types of different benefits. Okay. So, develop skills. That's for like a developmental, backbone roster, uh, pass the torch, gatekeeper, as one of our icons. I think he's somebody we would protect in a role like that. Icon intended. Icons will accept every show and be less taller of defeats. <sighs> Uh, let's try, yep. So, is that worth it? I mean, so with Mutant, is, we're going to get the streak. He is our champion. So, to be one of our icons, he is going to be on virtually every show. I don't see a scenario where he's not on the show, unless he's hurt. And if he's hurt, he's now starting to talk. We've had him for a year and a half. He's only had one promo with Jack Bruce. And it was an all-time angle, rated angle. Um, his merchandise. Let's look at that. So let's save this template for, and we're just gonna put mutant, and you know we will look at it in a second. So merchandise, mutant, <laughs> 154 dollars this month and 249. Um, uh, I'm sorry, I got a mute for a second. I sneeze. No, I don't have a sneeze. All right, there we go. Um, oh, Diva Arnold also up there. Interesting. We'll keep that in mind. Um, so, <laughs> God, I I don't regret bringing in Jack Bruce because I, I can logically make sense and it's part of the game. And honestly, I don't really care about the finance aspect of this, but it's part of it. Uh, the game world is rising. Mutant is only 28. So when we look at Mutant, he can be with our company legit as one of our icons for a long 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 time so if we apply the mutant template um see it that doesn't 
I don't know. This template thing doesn't, doesn't work as much as they would. And let's actually go 17,000. Um, 30% extra. Well, no, if you, I don't want to give them hiring veto, creative control, wage matching at all. Four year deal. It's one of our icons. Let's do it. So we're going to offer them that. I got to figure out how to pause so you guys don't have to sit through the uh, long wait time. But let's see if they update it. And they're going to. But at what point does Larry Vesey interrupt? Do I offer creative control when Larry Vesey says he can't offer any more money? Do I offer a wage matching? Like a hiring veto? I don't really know. I think his character being unpredictable uh, is kind of, I don't want to give the hiring veto, because what if, like, all right, I can sign a big star, and, you know, it makes sense to sign them and everything, and Mutant's like, nope, and I was like, son of a bitch. Creative control, I think that comes to the one of our icons role. You're able to get around it if you keep every keep strong, but I don't know, like, because what if, like, all right, let's say, hypothetically, this isn't what I want, want to do at all, but Joffy Lane is a, uh, what's it called, is a free agent. He's somebody we can sign. Would make sense, logically, to be someone we bring as main inventor. I debut him, have him beat Mutant right away. No matter what I say or do with Keep Strong or Protect, Mutant is not going to accept that booking. Um... Uh, so trying to figure that out as a means of, do we, I don't know, I'm curious to see what their reply is. Uh, okay, rival bid. Okay, no one else bidded there. That's the important thing to me, because if somebody else did, it would probably be your offer is currently not being seriously considered. Shoot. Okay, signing bonus went from 10000 to 4000 Makes sense, makes sense. All right, let's go to twenty. And 1860 is where we are going to be maxed out. Four years. Do we go five? Because, I mean, honestly, he's just going to get more popular. Let's go five. 35%. I'm cool with giving him 40. I wish, like, if I gave, if I was able to give that bonuses, or, like, a signing bonus, I would be able to. Um, let's do it. Screw it. Jeez. No, he didn't even change that. Alright, let's go ahead here. Oh man, this is nerve wracking. Um we'll see. And I, if we lose them, I'll tell you what was going on. Big news here with TCW and MAW um told that they will no longer be saw it's clear at the moment that it's a problem they have with Normally, MAW goes broke, and TCW just buys them. Interesting. Have ended the agreement, have updated the hostile, stopped their friendly attitude. Wow. Um, interesting. Normally, I wonder how that's going to turn, but let's see here. Oh, crap. I, I put next show instead of the uh, pause. So I guess this is going to be a little bit of a different episode, because normally I just do the booking, but... I, God, I, I really jinxed it. Oh, man. CWA bastards. Well, include them on being declared war upon, and 100% going to sign somebody away and from them as well. I, I guess it, with WrestleWorld being U.S. and uh, Canada, it, it makes sense. Um, I haven't really paid attention to the... Canada popularity of any of our workers. Um, but that's been the big news so far within you know the game world, uh, well, within my company right now. Haven't looked at any of the free agent women to bring in for that top prospect tournament, but we're going to do it next show. It's going to start it. It's going to go across two shows because they're all going to be unknown except, um, I forget her name, Double S. Um, Let's see here, Rima Richardson, bidding, war, okay, you know, whatever. I mean, he is going to be so much money. Oh, my God. Um, He's going to have the biggest uh, contract. Now, the thing is, he's 40 years old, so I wonder how many years they give him. 
Uh, that said, let me see here if there's any way to... I don't think there is any way to pause it, boys. So, <laughs> so you guys are stuck with me. Um, not that I care, but you know, it's just a lot of you know loading times in this game is a lot of fun. I really like this part where they do it and show the stats of everything. Uh, so stop recording and it will still me. I guess like I'd be able to like pause it, like and then create a new video and just you know link them together, but that, that just feels like too much work. And then I'd have to start editing, and I don't know. I'm surprised that there's not just a normal way to do it on OBS. I get well, OBS is mostly intended for uh, like streamers. So we'll see here. No, yeah, I don't think there's a way to do it. I'd have to see if there's a way to pause it. Nonetheless, I mean, right now I'm just looking through it while we wait to see what mutant's decision is if he's a traitor i'll hate him forever uh if he stays i'll protect him um so not really sure how long this episode's gonna be but you know we'll figure it out but let's see here and yeah this load time is really um it takes a while and sometimes like it, it's not frozen here but it kind of acting like it is give it 10 seconds to 30 seconds and it'll be done i wonder how much time we've all spent like waiting for tw to you know go between eh, this is terrifying like oh my god make up your mind already he is seriously considering both authors so with this he is getting the intended role of one of our icons. So he's going to be in every show. He's going to be protected on every show. Um, he's not going to lose for you know, maybe a while. Versus now, if he gets signed away, he is getting beat like there's no tomorrow. Um, the thing with that is, and I'll give my possible plans with him um, if he goes. But then i got to start thinking of like a backup plan of, who am I going to bring in if he if he goes as or who's going to be our new top baby face? Riley McManus makes sense. Um, I kind of already been there, done that with him. Mass Stranger as well. Mass Stranger just lost to a mutant, so not really easy to. We can go back to Xavier Reckless. That makes sense. Austin Smooth makes sense as well, uh, but he just got off a long title reign, like. Who really does he have left to feud with that we can do like main event spot? Bringing somebody in. Do we rise Kip Keenan to it? Not sure. Um, yeah, I'm very curious to see how this goes. And man, to go through this, it's taking. I'm sorry, I'm just thinking here. And I got to yawn. I don't yawn really that much until like I decide to start recording. And definitely now because I know I can't like I can't figure out how to pause it without just you know clipping it together and all that. But very curious to see here. Terrified. Please make up your mind. Please, 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 please. Um, honestly, if we lose them, I'm thinking Kip Keenan wins. It's a big victory for Kip, and it's a big. Um, looking over that it would be it makes sense for kip uh and i'm not that i'm in a big rush but I'm not really in a big rush to do i think it's gonna be cool to have like all right this is you know, you know with the empire title it's pre my company like my takeover of the company but it'd be cool hey our first two-time champion our first three-time champion is you know so and so so i kind of want to save that for the right time but i mean this might be it but i think kip keenan we've kind of been lucky with his popularity rising the way it has been kind of makes sense so that may that could work uh, let me see here i don't know if my edge so we also have is there anything on here spoiler wise 
I don't know. No, not really. We already went over August. This, like, is the pain with, like, it's not, there we go, dragging over. This is, like, our roster. I use an Excel sheet. Um, yeah, it doesn't really give my information at all. He, no. Damn it. All right. Uh, that said, we, we gave it a good shot. So what we were going to do with Mutant is he was going to stay champion. He was going to turn face. That's why I kept on checking as to when, if he was going to be able to be turned face. And then he was going to be champion for a long time until a super massive destroyer came back, beat Mutant, was the one to end the streak, and start a uh, you know, chase of super massive destroyers, Eddie the Beast Brock being champion was super massive destroyer being champion and ultimately mutant beating him uh, to regain the title and kind of to change characters a little bit and you know right now the goldberg push was going to go honestly he's going to be another 17 months so would that be it's august so What's that? September, da, da, da. so at February 2025, he's gonna be champion. Tell verse now, he is going to face either. Let's pray. Let's just give it to Ace Young Blood. You know, he, he's ready. He's due. Uh, active wrestler. So these are our possible people. Mass Stranger. He's already been champion. Makes sense. Is loyal to the company. Well, not like actually loyal to the company, but has chosen to stay with us over other contracts before rally mcmanus is you know classic old school babyface xavier reckless lost the title in mutant defeated sodomy on his way out defeated jerry martin there's one other person he defeated on his way out makes sense there hawkeye calhoun who's how cold i gotta watch that um interesting diva arnold has been on fire. That's interesting. LA Star number one. Do I bring the LA Star versus A List Star feud to the main event? I don't think they're ready. Kip Keenan. Um, fucking damn CWA. Damn them. <laughs> uh, so, right now, I'm going to kind of cut off this you know, episode here. Um, we talked it into existence. Mutant's popularity is 52 across the board. So let's look at Kip Keenan. 32. Okay, so he'd go up to about 40. LA Star, 39. He, he did pretty good. Diva Arnold, 41. Those three, uh, I think, make the most sense because, you know, Mass Stranger as well would make more sense. Ryan McManus. Like I said, I think 52 is a hard cap for Tri-State area. So for him to defeat Mutant, it doesn't really bring anybody up to Mutant's level to ultimately replace him. So if we bring up Kip Keenan to that main event level, then all right, we have a main eventer who's ready to replace Kip Keenan. If we bring up Diva Arnold, possibly. I mean, I think in-ring-wise, yes, but I think character-wise, no. Um... LA star number one we are in the process of getting him over I was thinking even long term long term is LA star number one was going to be the one who the front Eddie the Beast Brock or Supermassive Destroyer or even Mutant to become champion I have him I mean if you look at his stats it's kind of hard not to pigeonhole him as a champion down the line but we really we put up a fight for Mutant that's all we can really do and we got some thinking to do we got a top prospect tournament with women next month and we got to crown a new champion. Do I just strip Mutant of the title? Um, and yeah, kind of go really off our rocker. And I'm kind of thinking this is a tease for what medium is going to be. So we're going to have to make sure to sign those that we want to keep. And money right now I don't want to. But Mutant ends the comp his reign with the company. It's 19-0. and And so we got to see what happens next with him. Um, Xavier Reckless has already lost a mutant twice, so I'm gonna roll him out right then and there. He's not going to get a rematch for the title. Austin Smooth is a heel, ne neither are ready to be turned. He is cut out. 
So we're looking at Kip Keenan, Riley McManus, who we're rolling out because of popularity. LA Star number one, which makes sense. I no, not really. It, it kind of does, but it doesn't. So Kip Keenan, LA Star number one, Diva Arnold. In either case, we are going to create a new star. And with losing Mutant, we are going to actually bring in a big star. Eh, not a big star, but we're going to bring in somebody from the big three who's a heel, uh, who's like a... So we are going to actually keep this in mind of when it ends, and we're going to leave that there. When it comes to these opinions, I'm going to make you like a... I'm going to include it in my Excel sheet and look at it. Maybe once we hit medium or something, and uh, if anyone knows any of those meetings, please let me know. But yeah, this episode, impromptu, extra, extra credit, bonus episode, is telling the story of us losing our most protected athlete. Son of a bitch. Um, but that's going to be it. I'll talk to you guys next time. Later. Thank you if you watched all this. Really appreciate you.